let's calculate uh, Kendall's tau b by using the same data. Uh, this is uh, Kendall's uh, portrait. Mm, I have car answers uh, to check how many ties we have in this data. And the formula to calculate tau b, yeah, I will use this one. Uh, it's from uh, Wikipedia. It's crucial to clearly understand the formula. So NC and D, N0, N1, and N2. So NC and D uh, means number of concordant or discordant pairs. And TI uh, in uh, N1 and uh, N2 uh, for UJ. Uh, this is number of tied values in the ice group of ties for the first quantity. I will uh, explain and uh, it later and show it show you how to calculate it later. So uh, let's calculate concordance and discordance. So uh, for uh, Kendall's tau b. Firstly, you need to sort x uh, from small to uh, large, like this. And for concordance calculation, uh, let's say, for example, if uh, to calculate concordance, uh, you need to uh, select, consider, below area. For example, uh, if uh, 6.2 is uh, like a reference, then for to calculate concordance, you need to consider the below part. Right, so we can use uh, some uh, Excel uh, functions to calculate concordance and discordance for all this data. So and let me show you. So count if s count if s uh, function is useful when you consider multiple conditions. So criteria from here, and uh, you need to fix the uh, on right side. Because we are there's no data here, and comma. And you can link with uh, operation uh, greater than and link with the first cell and comma. And second criteria here. Okay, fix the right one. And comma and greater than and link with y value. So for discordance, we can use the uh, same formula, but change uh, this part as less than. Right, and let's sum up all values. Right. Um, we need to use a pivot table to understand uh, ties. So let's select this one and click insert tab and pivot tables here. And let's use uh, existing worksheet here. Right. And this one. And we want to count ties. So let's change the count. Okay. And we also need to uh, sort from large to small. All right. So there are two cases here. Okay. And we also uh, need same thing uh, from. count and let's sort uh, largest to smallest also there are yeah three ah, sorry there are three ties here okay so from now on I will use uh, this part so uh, nx ny means uh, this one 
so we can say uh, combination of uh, sort x and 2 yeah always uh, 2 because you know we uh, there are uh, number of pairs so that's why I set it uh, as 2 all right so same thing so we can use C O M B I N this one comma two. Okay, let's sum up this one. Four values here. Yeah, five here. And for this one, C O M B I N comma two. This one, we need this one uh, to calculate uh, D, right? So denominator part. So let's say N, there are 12 uh, samples, and combination of N, comma 2 is C O M B I N, 20, comma 2. For concordance, uh, we can use this one. For discordance, this one. Yeah, score is C minus D okay, and denominator part so this one so SQRT and C and comma 2 is this one right minus uh, NX is from this one and multiply by and comma 2 minus ny here right so okay uh, when we calculate tau b we need to use uh, this one uh, I borrowed this formula from this uh, website so let me show you how to calculate uh, this one it's a little bit uh, complex, but uh, so please uh, uh, watch this video. Then I will, you can uh, understand it. So for uh, M0, uh, this formula. So uh, 20 multiplied by 19 multiplied by uh, 40 plus 5, right? Ah. And for MX, so some ti, ti minus 1, uh, 2t plus 0, right? So uh, think about this. There are three uh, tight cases, right? So uh, in this case, uh, mx can be calculated uh, 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 is 6, uh, 11. Yeah, and plus. Uh, second type 2 so 2 multiply by 1 multiply by 2 by 2 4 9 right and we can same one right for my we can use this one so same same formula so we can use this one 3 3 2 so 3 multiply by 2 multiply by 11 uh, same one 3 2 11 plus uh, for this value 2 2 multiply by 1 multiply by 9 All right for m1 so uh, this formula so uh, we need to multiply by those two this one and this one All right so let's uh, calculate this part first. So again, 3 to 2, 3 multiplied by 2 plus 2 multiplied by 1 plus 2 multiplied by 1. 
right? And multiply by uh, this part. So 3, 3, 2. So 3 multiply by 2 plus 3 multiply by 2 plus 2 multiply by 1. And over uh, this one is 14 multiply by 19. For M2 here, so again, uh, like the same logic, 3 to 2 here, 3 to 2, 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1, plus there's uh, 2. So if we, we, we can see that there's 2 minus 2 is equal to uh, 0, so we don't need to calculate uh, this part, right? And multiply by and 3, 3, 2. So 3 multiply 2 uh, multiply by 1 plus 3 multiply 2 multiply by 1. Right? So we don't need to calculate this one. So close the form and over uh, 9n uh, 180 multiply by 19. Multiply by 18. Right. Well, the rest part uh, m. So, mm. so let's uh, calculate the square root uh, later. So m zero is uh, this one minus m x minus m y over 18 plus m1 plus m2 close you need to uh, use square root here right right so we can calculate standard error here so uh, m over yeah, denominate part here. Right. So uh, let's calculate uh, tau, right? Tau can be calculated uh, by this formula. Uh, score over denominator. Right? So uh, for z, uh, we can use this formula. So tau over standard error right so p value uh, we can use uh, normal distribution here right uh, so mm, right, well, we consider uh, right uh, right side of normal distribution so 1 minus um, dist So, comma mean as zero, standard deviation uh, as zero, as one, comma, and true. Right. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so uh, this is, uh, I, as I mentioned on the right side, so uh, in R, there is a um, p-value, so it considers uh, uh, two-sided, so we need to multiply by two. Right, so in our program, if you use cor.test and uh, define method as kinda, you can get uh, this one, z, and p-value, and tau here. So we were able to get a tau value here, same one, and p value here, and this one, and z value, and this one. Right. So for the same data, uh, we have got a little bit different results. So for tau, uh, Kendall's tau, uh, 
uh, it is uh, sig statistically significant so it means that there is a strong uh, association between x and y for spearman also uh, considering 5% significance level also we can say that there is um, a significant uh, association between x and y but uh, for Pearson correlation coefficients, uh, it's uh, not significant considering 5% uh, significance level. So let's see how the data looks like. Yeah, so as I uh, mentioned, uh, Pearson correlation is useful when we measure linear relationship, but as you can see, the actual uh, relationship between x and y is not uh, linear right so uh, as i mentioned please uh, consider your data uh, distribution and choose right tools to measure association among pearson spearman and kendall's tau i hope you have enjoyed watching this video please click like and subscribe if you want to see more video clips in the future. Thank you.